Oh, George here again and today what I'm going to be doing is um, showing you the second part of my amp building um, what I've done is um, I've actually installed the module at the rear of the uh, the case connect to the, the power supply from the amp the transformer um, I've installed the back panel um, two hours here, one red, one white inputs, and RC outputs. So I've got six inputs DVD, D, D, DCR, and one DAC. Um, in this system, there's a DAC system. Um, probably plugged in. There's the module, six volt by zero. By six volt transformer, um, and as you can see, I've just got to tear out to tidy up that wiring. There's a little flashing light to show that's the power on and that everything is working normally. There's the LCD, and from the front of the unit, there's the LCD with the remote control unit fitted. Um, what I've done is I've actually wired the remote control unit where there was three wires, the blue wire, um, the red wire and that yellow wire and I've wired that to the, the controller board and I put some um, glue to stop it, those uh, leads from coming off. And there you go for spurs eye view from the top. All I have to do is tidy up the wiring. Um, I've Seated the module to the case with two screws, one screw there and one screw here and the RCAs actually keep that in. Um, from the front, if you could see that, the CD, if I press the volume knob, it goes to AC, the FD and if you look, it's the volume control. As you can see, it's decreasing the volume. When I turn, the volume is increasing. So volume down, volume up, 57, 53, 52, 51, 49. So there you go, folks. So the volume control is working. Um, I've installed the remote control. Um, this is the remote control unit for the system. So that's the little I need a, a battery. But everything's working. Um all I've got to do now is connect this preamplifier to um a power amp and um that's it, everything's going. Screw the case up and um and see how everything's going. Part three I'll show you what what this system sounds like connected to a power amplifier um, and then um, that's the conclusion of my three parts to show you how to um, build um, solder and put together um, PGA 2311 preamplifier uh, parts from eBay total anything from 23 to 30 quid Case is about thirty pounds, so you're looking at sixty pound outlay, um. But obviously, labour, the transform is another ten quid, so you're looking at uh, seventy pounds in parts, um. To put it all together, labour, couple of hours, three, four, or five hours, um. Some troubleshooting because everything doesn't work straight off, um. In the kit from eBay, the LCD is connected. The controller board, uh, which means you've got to squash the controller board to the front of the case, and it doesn't always line up properly. And there's some problems with the LCD actually aligning correctly. So, what I've done, I've, I've, I've cut through the, the actual uh, four, 40 pin connectors, and I've read each, each, um, each where individually back to the controller so instead of having the controller right next to the LCD I separated it by 